Hello everyone, welcome back to An Italian in My Kitchen. I am Erica, and today I want to make with you a delicious breakfast treat, I would call it, because that's when we usually would have it, or as a snack, if you, if you want. But we are going to make a blueberry crostata. This is a very delicious recipe, and, and something that it feels very nostalgic for me, because I used to have it for breakfast, in the mornings before going to school. Usually I would have it filled with Nutella because that's what we would have it with. But this blueberry crostata is actually very, very good. And so, especially the homemade ones are so delicious. So if you want, we can also make a Nutella version at some point in the future, but for now we're going to make a nice blueberry filling for it. Blueberry crostata basically is pastry dough, uh, which creates a nice buttery crust, and it's filled with this blueberry filling, and on top we're going to cover it with strips of the dough, so it creates this nice pattern on top of it. And then when you eat it, it's just very, very good. I can't explain it right now, because we are just going to have to go make it, and then you can tell me what you think in the comment section below. So let's go make it. We're going to start by making our pie dough for the crostata. And for, to do this, you can either do it by hand. So on a flat surface, just add all the ingredients together and bring it together like that. Or we can use a food processor, which is what I'm going to use because I find that it's the easiest and fastest way to bring all the ingredients together and it makes a nice and smooth dough. I'm going to use my food processor now. And we're going to take one and three quarter cups of all-purpose flour and add it to the food processor. Half a cup of granulated sugar, a pinch of salt and a teaspoon of baking powder. And then we're going to add one egg and one egg yolk. Plus half a cup of butter at room temperature. So nice and soft butter. And we'll pulse this all together until the dough starts coming together. Then we're going to flour a flat surface. And at this point, we'll just move our dough onto this flat surface and bring it all together to form a nice and soft, smooth dough. We're basically just bringing the dough that's been made in the food processor together. And it's a nice and smooth dough as well. There's not a lot of work that we have to put into it to bring it together, so I love that. So here's our dough. It's nice and smooth. It comes together very easily. And now we're just gonna wrap it in plastic and refrigerate it for about 30 minutes so it can chill for a little bit. And we can make our blueberry filling while well, this is in the fridge. So for the filling, we're going to take a um, small to medium pot and we're going to add two cups of fresh blueberries into the pot. Even frozen are good. These were fresh blueberries that I put in the freezer, so they're fresh but frozen. Two and a half tablespoons of sugar, one tablespoon of flour, a pinch of salt and a teaspoon of cinnamon. And we'll bring this to a boil over medium heat. And we'll keep stirring for about two minutes until it thickens up. So when it has thickened, just remove it from the heat, just like we did, and then add one teaspoon of lemon juice to it and a half a cup of blueberries. And just mix it together again. And now we'll just let it cool. And at this point, our dough is ready to be used. So we'll divide it into two. And one part will wrap in plastic again and refrigerate it again and the other is 
the part that we're going to use now. We'll just lightly flour it a flat surface. So now this dough, we'll just roll it into 1 8 inch thickness and then place it into our pie pan, which has been also greased and floured already. If your dough keeps breaking on you, just bring it together in your pan. Add pieces of the dough to the edges if you need to. It comes together really, really well when it bakes. Then prick the bottom of the dough with a fork. and top it with the cooled filling on top. Then take the rest of your dough, the other half that we had in the fridge. And we're going to roll this, just like we did with the other one, into one eighth inch thickness. You can make with the rest of your dough either strips or you can make a uh, cute cutouts to put on top of your pie. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use the star cutout cookie cutter and make our cover for our pie. And then we'll just place our stars on top of our pie. Now that our pie is basically ready, we'll just cover it in plastic and let it chill for about 15 to 20 minutes in the fridge while the oven is preheating at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. It's just a good way for the fat to solidify in, in the dough and it helps the dough not to shrink too much in the oven. So now that our oven is ready, we'll just brush the top of the dough with some milk and we'll bake our crostada for about 25 to 30 minutes or until lightly golden. And there you go, we have our crostada all nice and ready. So now we'll just let it cool for a little bit and then we can slice it and try it. And there you go, we have our cut blueberry crostada right here. It's nice and uh, cooled down now, so just wait a little bit before you serve it, just because you don't want the whole filling to come bursting out, basically. But if you leave it too cool, it will thicken a little bit. Ready to go, basically. Here it is, so we're going to try this crostada. Buon appetito! There's so much filling here. You need to make it and then tell me what you think of it because oh that filling is really really good you do get that hint of cinnamon that we added into the blueberry filling when we were cooking it and it's just such a good good recipe i think it's great for breakfast if you want to go the italian route and have it for breakfast like i would uh, but also as a dessert, you just have a slice and some ice cream Like you would have a pie maybe and then it would be even more decadent and delicious But if you want to go the Italian route, you know breakfast or as a snack, it's perfect for that I hope you enjoyed this video and if you decide to make it Let me know in the comment section below what you thought of it as always you'll find all the links ingredients measurements in the description box and If you like this video give us a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye